Hey y'all, it's Nona, and today I'm here with a collab with my wonderful bestest friend in the whole wide world, Courtney, from Courtney KH, and we have decided to do a Halloween look inspired by a haunted house. So, um, I chose a picture, actually I chose three and I sent them to Courtney, and she picked out the one that she liked best, and so we're going to do a look inspired by that house using the colors in that photo. This is reminiscent of Angie's uh, photo inspiration collab um, from 4F Beauty. I will have both their channels linked in the description box below. So I will insert a picture of the house that we are recreating now. unique huh I mean I don't think Halloween when I see all those bright colors um, but at the same time the house and the aesthetic just the grunginess the clouds the night sky it all it really screams Halloween to me but it's not something that I would have thought of right off the bat um, so the colors I see that scream out to me right off the just right off is the greens and that bright yellow and then that purple uh, the purples and the pink in the like smoke or fog and um, then a lot of different like blue tones near the bottom of the, the photo um, so those are the tones I'm going to be using and to create my looks I'm going to be using my ColourPop um, nine pan palettes the monochromatic ones and I have my orange pink yellow purple green and blue so, I'm going to start out like I always do <laughs> with the orange of my crease and I'm going to go into Rise and Grind. If I can find a clean brush. My eyelids are a little stained from the last look I did. I did a all pink look and I'm trying to get a lot of filming done today because I have been in a pretty negative headspace ever since my dog Mojo died and um, then some other things are going on in my life and uh, I've just not been feeling up to filming and uh, I keep getting invited invited to these wonderful collabs that I don't want to say no to and um, so I let myself get pretty far backed up and you know these collabs are scheduled for specific dates and times so you know you have to get them done in a timely manner to be able to upload them and uh, all that to say that this is my fourth look today and I think I'm going to do one more. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'll do my boxy charm and my ipsy. And I have a little haul from Walmart. So. Busy, busy, busy with the channel. Which is how I like it. This channel is an outlet for me. A creative outlet and it helps me so much with my PTSD and agoraphobia and my other mental disorders that I have and uh, all the wonderful people that I meet on here like Courtney just blessings to my life the only negative I can say is I meet so many amazing people but they all live so far away that would be my only critique is that I, you know, could have my friends live closer. So I'm going to take this uh, uh -huh Honey palette and I'm going to go into Oh Behave and I'm going to put that above the orange. I like to have the yellow above the orange. I don't know why. I guess just I like it to look really nice and bright. And I want to use lots of colors from the picture, so. Of 
Courtney does a lot of different things over on her channel. She does um well she does unboxings and um she does beautiful looks. She started a new series using um older products in her um collection to get some use out of them and I think that is a brilliant idea. So I signed on to do that collab with her we're gonna do it a couple times a month I think it's a great way to use products that you uh, have but you haven't used in a while um, as you know makeup does go bad which it's inevitable that I'm gonna have some makeup that does because my collection is so large but I would like to get some use out of it before that happens and so we're gonna do that she is very talented with her eye looks. I wish I had half the skill that she does. I think I'm going to go into the pink. This one. And it's called Sandbar. And I'm going to put that in my crease. With a fluffy brush tapered fluffy brush. I'm going to put it in my socket. Hang on, it looks like I lost a little orange on this side. We can't have that. Y'all know how I feel about orange. Okay, there. That's a little better. This is looking like a sunrise look right now. But I have some purple and blue and green to add to it, so. I'm glad Courtney wanted to do this photo rather than the other two. Because I was drawn to one that was a lot of oranges and browns and some yellow because y'all know I love warm colors. So that was obviously the photo I was drawn to. And she chose this one, which made me get outside my comfort zone a little more. And I think it will make for a more interesting look, a twist on Halloween, if you will. So for the outer V, I think I'll do my lid first. And I'm going to go into Act Natural. And I'm going to put that on the outside and inside of my lid with a very small brush. It's actually a lip brush, but I like to use it on my eyes because it's very precise. There's that. Got some fallout, which is inevitable for me. I always have fallout. I create it. I'm going to go back in with that pink and kind of blend. I'm 
Okay, and then I'm going to go on my lid in the center with this beautiful color called Mary Jane. It's my favorite color in this palette. And it is a shimmer, so I'm going to spray it with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I do that to all shimmers, regardless of brand. I'm just going to pop that in the middle. Right. So there's that. I'm going to use the purple in the outer V. So I'll be going into this dark purple right here and it is a shimmer. It is called Chicklet. Chicklet. <laughs> I'm going to use a pencil brush. Just adding a little. I don't want to add a lot. Okay, now I'm going to take some, what do I have left, the blue? I am going to go clean up this fallout. I'm going to take this blue called Tide Pool. It's a shimmer. I'm going to put that under my lower lash line. And I'm going to put Lumi in my inner corner. This black hard candy eyeliner in my waterline and some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'll be back to do some lips. And this is the finished eye look. <laughs> it's kind of different. I really like the blue in the lower lash line and the inner corner. I really like that. I don't know how I feel about the lid, but okay, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Metallic Lipstick, and it's in Death to Unicorns, and it's this really bluish gray tone color, like a stormy sea. I'm going to use that because I think it looks like the color of the haunted house.
These liquid cat suits seem to have to be built up to me, which I don't mind, but. Just something I've noticed. pretty color though. But it's patchy. I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. So, this is the finished look. It's definitely different for Halloween. <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much, Courtney, for collabing with me, sweetheart. For always putting up with me and all my craziness. For always being there for me. And I love you so much. I really, really do. If you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.